something besides my ass, man. This is my 1981 Dodge Ram D150. I bought it in April of 1999. Uh, originally it was all brown like you see on the bed in the cab and I painted this front end back in uh, the fall of uh, 2000. And the color is actually called a uh, Twilight Blue Pearl. It's actually a 88 Dodge color. Uh, it's base coat, clear coat, two stage urethane, PPG brand paint. I have a uh, 15 by eight wheels all the way around. They're Eagle alloys, which this particular wheel I no longer make. Uh, when I had it, it had a slant six, inline six cylinder in it with a four-speed transmission. It still has the four-speed. It's uh, got a got the A833 four-speed in it, which is the uh, same transmission found in Roadrunners and everything. But this isn't the original transmission. This is actually the close ratio transmission out of, uh, if I remember, I think I got it off a guy. He had a 69 Roadrunner. And go ahead and open the hood up. Motor's dirty. I haven't driven this thing in about six years. What I basically have is a stock 360 5.9 liter and it has a four barrel on it. It's basically all stock. It's just got headers on it. Uh, three inch exhaust with a dual outlet. Uh, Flowmaster two chamber muffler. It's got a Car Carter Thermoquad four barrel carburetor. And I need to clean the motor. It's pretty nasty right now. And the way it runs, it runs pretty good. Most people think that it's uh, not stock, but it's actually stock. And I just went ahead and dumped my air conditioner since I wasn't using it anyway. And we 
got the inside, which is basically uh, pretty uh, rough at this point. The seat needs recovering. That's not the original seat. The original seat was tan. Has a rubber floor mat in it, but I found that piece of carpet in somebody's garbage. It was a brand new leftover, so I put that in, just laid it in there as a floor mat. Everything inside is bone stock too, except of course the seat. Tailgate, my tailgate, somebody rear-ended me, that's why when I had this bumper off, I was going to put a roll pan on it. And 12 years ago, I put a new tailgate on it. Well, it's basically new because the other one was beat up and a guy made a U-turn behind me in a truck and he rear-ended me and hit the tailgate. So now I need to find another tailgate. On oh, my tire size on the front, I got 235-70-15s on the front and 275-60-15s on the rear. If you come around this side, you can get the wheels. They look better on this side since the sun's hitting them. The wheels are actually kind of tarnished. I need to polish them more. The back is actually cleaner than the front. step out this way you can get a better view maybe zoom in on it and then out or something like that or light at an angle let's go ahead and start it up We're going to go ahead and take it for a couple of runs and run it through the gears and hot rod the hell out of it. <laughs>
I haven't driven it in such a long time. It's missing real bad. I'm not making power as much as it used to, so I think I'm only going to make one more pass right now. Okay, this is this uh, my truck hadn't been running as good as it has been today. Of course, it has been setting up since 2005. Uh, when I was making some of those runs today, it was missing. It was cutting out and bogging down. Uh, like I said, it's been setting since 2005. It's had some old gas in it, and my thermoquad. This is the one. This is the one I normally run on here but it needed a kit in it, so I put a spare I had on just to get it home. I had it down in East Texas at my granddad's. Uh, now thermoquads, I know a lot of people say, man, these are pieces of junk, but I've dealt with these over the years. I know so much about them, and when they're running right, they make a lot of power, and they've run better than any other carburetor I have. This one, this one here is an 850. The one I have on here is an 800 CFM. Uh, when these are running good, you can't hardly beat them. They've got a phenolic plastic bowl. It keeps the gas about 20 degrees is cooler, which helps helps a lot with detonation and vapor lock. And uh, I need to I really need to change the spark plugs and spark plug wires. The plug wires are, I've had them on there, I think about 12 years, and the the core has probably been burned out on them. And I think I'm going to put a kit back in this carburetor, put it back on, and I'll make another video.